The kids just love coming here, they just really enjoy it. There's always a countdown to Little Bridge House. There's always that building anticipation because they love it, they just love it coming here. I think it's everything about it really. We've got four children, we've got Leilani, his eldest is 13. And we've got Iona, who's uh, got cerebral palsy and she's 11. And then we've got Keris at eight and Sam at six. So, and we all come as a whole family. For me, it's that complete rest. It's that knowing that I can have that complete break, uh, you know, overnight so I can sort of just let go. You don't realise how much you do until you come here and you don't do it. And you think, actually, this is relax. I am relaxing now. And you don't, you don't realise you're not relaxing at home because you just do it because that's what you've always done. But it's not until you stop doing it that you realise, actually, gosh, yes, I've, I've completely shut down and I can, or we can go for a walk and have a conversation. At Littlebridge House, Ali and Mike can get a good night's sleep. Iona, who needs full-time care and at home sleeps in her parents' bedroom, here has her own room. There are some days when I wake up and I think I would just like to get up <laughs> and not have to do the sort of whole getting Iona up. You know, she's completely dependent on us. And, and, and that does hit home, I think, as she gets older. When I was first year, I had a lot of built-up anxiety about different things. But they were, there, they were a listening ear, so I could just sit and offload. I'd feel like it was the one place I could really offload about all the things that had or hadn't happened at home, the things I was angry about, and it wouldn't go any further. They would just listen. It's the trust of you can come here and you can trust them totally in terms of handing over your child and looking after your other children. They want to give us the help that we need, so they tailor it to what we need as a family. It's something very special about that, I think, and I don't think you find it anywhere else. The other great thing is having the sibling workers here. So, I mean, if we were coming as a family, and yes, Ian is cared for, but we'd still have the three others, and so we'd be doing things with them. And, and I love the art and craft area. There's always something crafty to do, which is brilliant. Here, um, I made it on Saturday with jewels and paper and stuff like that. There's the free play area, which I just love, and the soft play. It's a brand new soft play area now, and. They love that and they just love mucking around in that. That's also a really great place where they meet other children. And of course the barriers are broken down in a soft play area straight away. And, and, and they just love being there. For us it's amazing because they look after them nine to four. That's what I look forward to. I look forward to a bit of time with Mike and just going for a coffee. I mean it's very special. And it's, they're always thinking of ways of making it better or easier for you, which mm. is lovely. Mm. And I remember would arrive and it'd be tea time and it would just feel a bit this is all too much and I remember Tracy coming to me who's the head of care saying how can we make it better for you when you arrive they then kept the sibling workers so that the sibling workers now stay later on the day that lots of families arrive so that there's someone there to kind of just take a child away or entertain a child so I could just hand over about Iona and you know not have to do like three million things at once and it just made it so much smoother and better it, yeah, we, we feel very privileged. Privileged is the mm, word, that yeah, come, so that yeah. we can come yeah. here and and have that break, but at our, at our own terms, really. Yeah.